be used on the Gnar, can help protect a Maokai that perhaps gets caught out of position. But otherwise, you know, here it's just going to be trying to make Def the main character. You've got two strong AD carries that will scale up incredibly strong in the late Here's game. KT Roll still looks to try and keep themselves alive here in the LCK and summon. Let's jump over the rift. Take control of the lane. Things could become a problem. The W empowerment that you do get with the Rakan and the Zaya. Oh, it does have really you But uh, yeah, I don't know about this one. As Canyon's just going to be moving in, looking for Kyoshik. And she will discover him. There we go. Kyoshik able to at least hold on to the big one, I'm pretty sure. As Twisted Advance pulls him over. BDD rotating up as Chovy is behind him. Presses W, able to get so many autos down. This vision is brilliant as there's the nature's grasp. And Canyon gonna put them to sleep, the flash forward. But Perfect, I think, should be able to cut this one off. If he can pick up this kill, it would be gigantic. With the rest of Jinji, they're coming over, and it's the big one that's able to take him down. B to D taking first blood. Insane. Straight back to the weave. And here's the double down tactic coming on through. We're looking for a bit of a dive as Pyoshik just moving on in. Taking the easy route, and there is the Nature's Grass. They get behind Pace because he's the one with the cleanse. Lahens is still going to get stunned up. Extended Beam does a fair bit of work as now Pyoshik holding onto the wave. There's the ulti. They look to take down Lahens first, and they'll successfully do so. Turret was tanked by Pyoshik. He had a wild growth, and now they might even look for more as Hayes just going to get destroyed. Twisted advance for a last hit. That's a cool way to do it. Six grubs will be the trade, but I think the KT are okay with it. Yeah, and it's, it's not a turret, a especially with a champion like a Draven, but they identify oh, all. Oh, oh dear. That was not where Keen wanted to go, as Perfect just going to throw him back. We'll see whether the mini knock can get this one done, as Keen's going to have to flash. Perfect, flashes into the brush. Q is going to miss as a result. He bounces back though, and he's going low. They're both going low. The boomerang comes in, and it's Keen that locks it up with a return Q. Oh, uh, look at Perfect's reaction on the player cam. He knows Oops. he messed up. side, so not able to help out. Oh, and uh, Keen no, goes no. in <laughs> by mistake with the weirding here, misplaces it, and then Perfect goes for the punish. Let's watch his first person view and see what he has to say. I like the flash, knows that he then has to make sure he doesn't get hit by a flash boomerang. But I think it's just the amount of consistent damage that you have with this champion. Oh, should say in the top one there. With the passive, with the with the autos, yeah, you can um, see the frustration. Like with the uh, autos, it's really tough to see where his uh, mind is going to go next. I think Leandre's is almost always a thing, but he likes Rift Maker as well, like a lot. Yeah, pretty good in top lane. As Canyon is a little bit isolated here. Yeah, Kyoshik moving on in, pretty tanky here on the tree. As BDD now in position, pays, pressing that W as Nature's Grass does come down. He pushes Canyon back, and he tries to put some circles down. Speaking of circles, the flash out from BDD, and Death is already dead. Can they find the fight? That was perfect. Finds an ulti, but there's zero follow up. And BDD cannot get any autos in here. Chovy sees blood in the water as a crush over the wall for Perfect gets him to relative safety. It's only Death that's fallen down so far, and you can see BDD still trying to stand his ground, but KT, they have to get out of there. I mean, the Aurora creates such an insane, you know, artificial front line here in this draft, and Perfect's ultimate a little bit late to actually save the day or turn that one around. Uh, he, he knows about that one, uh, especially here in the mid lane at about that position. Uh, that, was, that was where uh, uh, Bulldog did the jump scare previously. So they're not going to get caught out for that one, but you can see the Gen G able to get a bit of a shove towards this turret. Six scrubs barely needed here as four members of uh, Gen G will be enough. Yeah, yep. You can see uh, Trovi just probably not going to move down here. He is going to teleport, though, as we can see. So I'm a little bit caught. That's going to be BDD finding some rocket damage, though, on the Lahans. They're going to fight for this Drake. Keen's oh, angle. They just give it up, but no perfect now. Looking for his angle. Keen on a good one as well. Perfect, still trying to find that flank as the Sapling's doing a lot of work. That's going to be Pyoshik blocking down the Dragon. Canyon's in trouble. He goes golden, though. The Whirling Death flies in, and there is the circle. That's Death picking up the first one, and he gets over the wall. Taken down is Beryl, though, and there go the rest of the Dominoes. Pays now relatively low, but Death by himself is not going to be able to get anything done here. Over the wall. Hayes could be in trouble here. Deft going down very, very low, but I think Kirby's going to be here. And his ex teammate's just going to cash in. This yeah, the in there, basically. Yeah. Um, and then, or like a rumble equalizer that's in a big circle. And then you have all of that damage plus the ability haste on her ultimate. So her ultimate is up all the time.
You know, and you can get a pick before a dragon and then use it on the dragon fight. You could just, okay, well. Yep, there's that circle that you were talking about. Beryl is going to flash out of it as Kyoshik throws down the ulti. Wild Growth comes in there as well. And he does soak a lot. Both him and Beryl are going to need to go back home. And that means that Genji could have an opportunity here. They have lots of damage, as you mentioned before, Wolf. Yeah, and look at the ultimate on, on Keen, by the way. Like, it's not going to be up for this good test, but I don't think KT have the health bars to make this work. They're going to pull Genji off the Baron. Yeah, Beryl actually still just wandering around with 200 health here, making everyone very, very nervous. Um, bowling ball, not going to connect on to Beryl, who was the uh, preferred target. And dissuaded from the Baron for now, our Gen G. Please go home, Beryl. I'm just, uh, I'm getting a little bit worried. Two, yeah. One step forward, two steps backwards uh, here as Gen G can just start this up again. This time they have the turn, this time they have a good step. They look for a pick to start it, now they can turn with Keen's ultimate back online. Yeah, perfect. Looking to stack up some Naba here with the Baron. They can even see it. It's going down so extraordinarily quickly. Daft, if he's not going to be able to do anything. Pyoshik was nowhere near. They're going to look for a fight instead. The circle goes down one more time, and Pyoshik is just melting. A tank? I don't think so. That is just more money for Chobi. It's perfect. It's jumping out of there. Pay's going down low, but he's got the Feather Storm. Dev still looking to try and fight this one, but it is Beryl falling down. Dev now flashing away from Lahens. And he will at least be able to escape for the moment. B to D, very large health bar. As Canyon once again just going to utilize that stasis beautifully. And Genji now with Baron in hand, are looking to push it even further. Yeah. I mean, it's 27 minutes in. Long respawn timer on BDD. They may just end here. I think they have a pretty good chance. TP to mid. And that is it. You just hit, win one team fight. Keen's second ultimate there. He gets it back online. Everybody dies. Definitely an angle to potentially push further because in the extended fight, King gets his ultimate again. Yeah. Uh, but again, they don't. They want to cross their dot, or cross their T's and dot their I's. 15 seconds on that ultimate. He could use it on the turn on this dragon if KT want to contest. This Aurora champion seems pretty good, Atlas. Yeah, and uh, KT are just a sacrificial lamb. They're they're the team that has to demonstrate to all of us. The that, ability uh, name is pretty. Uh, Pretty strange, but I'm kind of getting into it. Ooh, beat it. He actually, uh, never mind. Uh, he's dead. Uh, Get weirded. Yeah, he got, he got, he got a little bit. Things went weird. They, <laughs> they certainly did. And he is most definitely across the veil now. Why would you play Victor when you could just play this? <laughs> yeah. All right, Genji. Uh, going. Well, I mean, no one plays Victor, so I think it's fine. <laughs> He might get some quality of life buffs, though. Um, Arcane uh, incoming. Arcane Season 2. Let's see um, whether Aurora makes it into that show, because right now she's looking strong enough to get there. As first, Nexus turret going low, but in goes uh, Kyoshik into the backline. My god, he went on a journey. Chovy's in a whole host of trouble, but not as much as the trouble that KT are in. The wild growth on Deft does absolutely nothing. And it's Keen that's going to lock him down. Nexus is to follow, and just before 30 minutes. They were able to get a few uh, hundred gold. The advantage, you can see it there, that red blip. Um, but it all started to go wrong when we hit those big team fights later on. Keen, top damage in the game, and it's no surprise. Yeah, this uh, Aurora is broken. Please ban it. It needs to be banned every single game. Uh, it does not belong on the Rift in, uh, in, in even match.